Hello Internet, I just want to do a quick tutorial on setting your SSL certificate for PFSense. It's kind of annoying having that exception warning message thing. Um, so if you want to do that, I'm going to assume you generated your own SSL certificate using Let's Encrypt. I have uh, tutorials on how to automate that and things like that, but that's beyond the scope of this tutorial. I'm going to assume you've generated your own SSL certificate. So all you do is you log in. And then you go to system, cert manager, then go to certificates. Then you want to, this catches me out every time. You want to add a certificate. You then want to choose this. You want to import an existing certificate. And then you can give it a name like da 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 da. I call it psn.mydomain.com. Then you just import the, um, the combined certificate, the, I refer to it as the Nginx style where it's the public key, public certificate plus the certificate authority bundled in one. And then you put the private key in here. Um, so I've already done that, so I'm not gonna, uh, I've done it here. Once you've done that, you just go to system and you go to, 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 to advanced. Then you go, you're on admin access, just search for SSL. Then you've got your, it's right here. It defaults to web configurator after inst an installation. You will see your new certificate here, the one you put a descriptive name for. Select that and hit save. Then uh, that's all you have to do. So that's it for now. Hope that was useful. I'll see you next time.